أن أمير المؤمنين تفسير الآية القرآنية من سورة يوسف القائلة قال أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن أنزلناه قرآنا عربيا لعلكم تعقلون <coughs> It is uh, very obvious and plain and uh, I don't see any reason why the Arab should hear the commentary of this particular verse from me because Quran al-Arabiyan is uh, Afsal Kalam and uh, every Arab should understand who knows Arabic. So what particular thing you have in mind first explain that then I'll answer. Yeah. I'll uh, mention the question. The question is about a verse in the Holy Quran which says that we send it Quran and Arabian. Yes, Quran and Arabian. No, the, he has explained this now. The word Arabic, Arabian, should be understood. It does not mean just the language Arab, because it wouldn't read any sense then. Arabian means al fusa There is no ambiguity. A language which is so clear and so powerful that can it can express itself without leaving any corn, shady, shady corners of ambiguity. As against this, there is ajam. And the Arabs used to refer to the ajam, ajamis as people who can't express themselves properly. The language is not adequate <laughs> to, uh, to convey the meaning to, to, the, to the listener. Ajam also means the man who is, who is also Gunga, you know, it, uh, uh, dumb, he can't explain himself. <coughs> so it is in this sense that the Holy Quran speaks of uh, Arabian. That this is a language which is so powerful, so beautiful, so well organized, that it's impossible for anyone to, who knows the language to leave any areas of ambiguity and uh, because the language failed to convey. The second thing which is pointed out, which is not mentioned in so many words, but which we understand from the writing of Hazrat Muslim Islam is this, that the language in itself, whatever it the name be, could not have been invented by man himself. Because the difference between the previous forms of animal life and the man is not too big. It is, in fact, uh, the animal world up to the stage of chimpanzees is practically dumb. They can make noises, but uh, they cannot express themselves. So this is why the Muslim inferred from some verses of the Quran that the language was taught to man through revelation. Like uh, the bee was taught this intricate system of collecting honey, while other bees are absolutely ignorant of this art. Through way. So that is way which did the trick. So Hazrat Musa inferred and quoted other verses like Khalaf al Insan Allah Bayan. It was God who taught him Bayan, and what was the Bayan which God taught him? This is the issue where the Muslim Muhammad was told through revelation that the first language which God taught the man was Arabic. And it remains the same fully developed and organized language. There is no evolution in Arabic. But all other languages have evolved. It has deteriorated with the passage of time. But time had not, has not taught Arabic anything. You see, this is the beauty. <laughs> so it is in this sense that the Holy Quran points out at the Quran being Arabian. And it was taught for the whole mankind, so it acquires a universal character. So like al makkah is Ummah Ummul Qura. So Hazrat Masih Muhammad wrote a very wonderful book, Ummul al Sina proving that Umul al sana was Arabic. So this is the Arabic which is referred to in the Quran, which you have just mentioned.
Mansur Rahman is the name of the book, <laughs> but uh, the claim uh, made is uh, uh, the Arabic is Umul Arsana. You see, as al Arabic al Arabi al Fusha, wala al Arabi al Dariya, shatani bena huwa.